Reverend Stembridge, a native of Georgia, became the next pastor in 1947. He came to Forest City from Paris, Tennessee. Dr. Stembridge and his wife Lois served First Baptist from 1947 to 1956. During his nine and a half years, the church experienced unprecedented growth in members and programs. Highlights from his leadership include the dedication of the Charles E. Nanny Library in 1947, renovation of the sanctuary for the 1948 100th anniversary, the remodeling of our choir loft and pulpit area in 1948, the rebuilding of the organ, the first baby dedication on Mother's Day of 1949, the growth of our church to 1,100 members in 1950, the face life of the seating area and the construction of the chapel building for additional Sunday school and offices in 1956. The church had the first full-time church secretary, educational director, started the choir, graded choir program and hired the first full-time minister of music. Dr. and Mrs. Steenbridge won the hearts of the church and the community with their charming, cultured, highly educated, and poised personalities. Dr. Steenbridge taught the Sunday school lesson each Sunday morning over the radio. Under his leadership, the bulletin was published and mailed weekly to the church families beginning January 8, 1948. The church sponsored the Perherd family, a displaced Latvian family coming to Forest City after losing their home and country during World War II. Dr. Stembridge helped schedule a number of outstanding Southern Baptist Convention preachers to preach in Forest City, including Dr. J.D. Gray, Dr. R.J. Lee, Dr. W.L. Criswell, Dr. Paul Cadell, Dr. Carlise Marney, and Willis Howard. Dr. and Ms. Stembridge were equally concerned with the quality of schools, civic, and community clubs and were active leaders and supporters. After 50 years, the Stembridge ministry stands out in the history of First Baptist Church. In June of 1950, the Korean War started. Under the leadership of Dr. Stembridge, our church decided to ring the church bell at noon every day to remind the community to pray for the safety of those in the military. Ms. Stembridge was also very active in the ministry of our church. She is fondly remembered for her beautiful voice as a choir member and her gifted ability to memorize and quote scripture. She taught the businessmen's Sunday school class, which grew to 50 members. After leaving our church in 1956, the Stembridges moved with their two children, Hank and Jane Shelton, to Lynchburg, Virginia, where he became the pastor of First Baptist Church there.